Welcome to Larry the Alchemist. Okay, this is kind of part two. I made another video on uh, in defense of streaming. I'm not really sure which one I'm going to put out first, but this one is following up on the same thing, this video that Rick Beato made uh, about that music is, is getting worse. And it's hard to not... Uh, Look, every type of music, you could make the argument, and I would have trouble refuting this, that really after Bach and Beethoven and the, the height of the Romantic era of classical music, that it's all been downhill from there. <laughs> you know, And as in, my, in my other video, I make the point of generational things. There's a whole generation that grew up on big band music and when jazz went to smaller groups they're like oh that, you know it's, that was a downfall of music when it went from the big bands to trios and quartets and then when it went from jazz to rock and roll that was a downfall of music then when it went from rock to disco and new wave that was the downfall of music and now i mean it just goes on and on and the thing is no music is not getting worse i i mean if you want to take specific you could say that rock maybe hard rock peaked in the 70s early 80s you could make you could make those arguments but there's music things just change it's like i mentioned in the other video about technology technology moves on music changes it never stays exactly the same every generation again classical big band swing uh, rock, disco, new wave, all these things, they come, they go, they stay, some of it stays, some of it goes, things change. And the music today has changed. The kids today want to express themselves in, in from the world that they exist in. And they have grown up with computers and with technology. I didn't because of my age they have so they tend to express themselves a lot of them th through did making music on their computers digital music electronic music uh is there a lot of it that is just f absolutely forgettable and and just drivel that's just whatever People putting this stuff out doesn't really have a lot of musical merit. Yeah, you bet. But there's always been that. There's always been music that is better. Some of it's some of it's really good. Some of it's really bad. That is that has always existed. Uh, so there is good electronic music out there today. There is really experimental, exciting stuff happening in that world. I've I'm a fan of dark wave and electronic stuff. I enjoy discovering this stuff, hearing new sounds. It's just, it's different now. It's not, you're not, yeah, you're not going to get a guy doing a ripping guitar solo where the musicality and the experimentation and the pushing the boundaries is, is more in the production and in the, in the sounds and the way they're combining these sounds and the things that they're doing. It's just, it's a completely different world. And I think for, for like, I'll speak for myself, somebody my age, it's it's hard sometimes to even grasp this again it's like imagine that that person that just grew up on big band music saxophones and clarinets and all of a sudden you hear a loud chuck berry shows up with a loud distorted loud guitar or Jimi hendrix shows up and they're just like oh i can't even understand i can't relate to this i don't even know what this is God, this sound is just i can't understand this at all i came from clarinets and trombones uh and for us at our age sometimes it's hard to understand this stuff it's taken me time to understand this newer type of music that the, the people are putting out now and to understand what what is happening I, sometimes i can't even fathom how they're putting this together because it's not it's not my world but there's a lot of interesting experimental boundary pushing musical emotional uh music that's being put out today is it harder to find this stuff yeah it's it's not in the mainstream and there's a lot of stuff out there so it's hard to wade through stuff but it is out there and it, and it, and it does exist and you you may think well within the world of rock or jazz or whatever things maybe 
haven't moved as much uh and in the world of pop music it's it's become very uh, forgettable computers and ai and everything have made it so that you can just put this stuff out and it's just uh all calorie all, no just like junk food there's no like nutritional value to it it's just like junk that's being pushed out and yeah yeah that's out there that's definitely out there but i'd argue that that stuff has always been out there. As soon as people figured out they could make money off of music, people started trying to just cheat and do whatever they can to get something out and to make a quick buck off of, out of it. But there's still people out there expressing themselves, doing musical things, pushing boundaries. Uh, they're doing it. They're just doing it in a different way. And they're doing it from the world that they know. Computers, the... the, the programs and drum beats and loops and cutting and pasting things and manipulating things through programs, GarageBand and Logic and Ableton and stuff like that. It's just a different world and it has changed. So I would make the argument that there is good stuff out there. I mean, maybe I'll make a video at some point of some of the more experimental electronic music modern electronic music that i that i like to uh listen to uh there was you know i was uh there's a place not too far from where i live that does like edm acts and i was it was like a wednesday night or something i was like ah, i wonder if there's anything going on tonight so i was looking around at some of the different places that have music in this place i could walk to this place almost i i saw oh they had this this act and i forget what the name of this this guy was but uh, electronic guy and I went and checked him out I was like wow this is really like phew, there's just a lot of stuff going on here this is kind of dark and creepy and it's like man I think I'm gonna go and check this out and it's just like I'm going ah, it's a Wednesday night there's probably ain't not gonna be anybody there the kids aren't in I, I live not too far from this college and this bar is not too far venue is not too far from the college I said it's probably not gonna be anybody there the kids aren't in school and it's a Wednesday night and I looked, I was like, this thing is sold out. <laughs> and I was like, wow. So there's kids coming out. They, they are listening to this. They are appreciating this kind of stuff. It's just, it exists out, off my radar. And that's because of my age. That's because of what I listen to. So there is stuff happening out there. It's, it's not in the mainstream. It's never been in the mainstream. The really cool stuff has very rarely ever been in the mainstream it's always been sort of underground people pushing the boundaries and stuff like that so it's out there you just you just have to you just have to look for it so all right there you go there's my heavy thought my heavy rant that uh no music isn't getting worse there's still some really great uh, stuff out there you just gotta just kind of maybe have to dig a little bit deeper a little bit harder to find it so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below to see you again make sure you stay heavy stay metal